Good morning, Springs Lighthouse. Diane Godwin here. I know that there are a lot of opinions going around right now as we see everything starting to open back up. Well, some things, some things not so much. Um, some people believe that it's too early. Some people believe that we should have been open a lot sooner and a lot of things in between. I know that I have had some frustrations regarding this and I realized that Part of my frustration was rooted in the fact that I didn't know the truth. There are a lot of professionals and experts saying different things, and I'm sure the truth is in there somewhere, but I don't know. Nobody really knows what the truth is, except for God. And so it occurred to me that I should spend some time with him and in prayer and seek his wisdom for what he would have me do personally. So um, looking at Romans chapter 13, verses one and two, it says, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. So we are subject to the governing authorities because God says we are. I know there are people who believe our constitutional rights are being violated, and while I do support the Constitution, the bigger issue for us as believers is are our biblical rights being violated. Farther down in Romans, in um, chapter 14, verses 7 and through 9, Paul says, For none of us lives to himself, and no one dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and rose and lived again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. So we belong to the Lord, and we see that our example is Christ. He gave himself for other people. He gave himself for us. So are we looking at how we can give ourselves for others, or are we just concerned with our own thoughts and opinions? Because ultimately, we honor God by honoring other people. And so I think it becomes less of a matter of our personal opinions and more a matter of what God would have each one of us do ourselves and how we can lay our, our rights aside to honor others and to honor him and to not cause other people to be stumbled by our choices. If God calls you to stay home, then stay home. If he calls you to wear a mask, then wear a mask. But whatever you do, you should be doing based upon what God tells you to do. Back in Romans 14, in verses um, 4 and 5, it says, Who are you to judge another servant? To his own master he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. One person esteems one day above another, another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. And I think that's what it really comes down to. As you spend time with the Lord, you need to be convinced in your own mind that you are doing what he calls you to do because he is your master. And so I just pray that this would be an encouragement to anybody who might be feeling frustrated or struggling what is the right thing to do. I pray that you would spend time with him and in his word and be encouraged. God bless.